I pretty much start my day like anybody else. Wake up. Brush my teeth. Quick shower. Breakfast. Get on my suit. And then it's off to work. What do I do? I save lives. These kids out there, they've got their eyes on their cell phones all day long. And I'm here to let them know that for that brief period of time when they're in their cars, going to school or coming home or wherever they're going, to put that cell phone down, to focus on the road. That's it. Oh, come on, this can't be right. Hey, not cool. Who the freak are you? You can call me Crash. Have a nice day. Crash? It's pretty simple. If they can't charge their phones, they can't use their phones. Which means they're no longer a hazard on the road. No one dies. No one gets hurt. Mission accomplished. Oh my gosh. I'll just, not really even longer. Hey, Dead. not cool. Oh my gosh! What are you, whoa, 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 whoa. No, wait. You did not just appear in the back of her car. Sorry <laughs> ladies, I suggest next time you make your plans before you get in the car. How rude. Dude. Have what? a nice day. Are you I'm kidding me? Wait. It's a hard job. I have to admit, it's a thankless job. I just have to remember that even if they don't know it at the time, I am saving lives here. I just have to keep at it, I guess. There's still a lot of work to do. I just hate the thought of him being out there all day and all night. It must be exhausting. I wish he had more of a social life. You know, when he was a kid, he had so many friends, I could never get him off his phone. Ever. Now he doesn't even call me. It was my 21st birthday. It was a Friday night. I was on my way to meet up with some friends so we could go to this party they had all planned for me. I was so excited. I never saw the other car coming. I woke up with my cell phone stuck in my face. <laughs> the doctors concluded that because I had used the phone too much, and because of the angle of the impact, half my phone had merged with my head. It was literally sharing radio wave activity with my brain. After the surgery, there was something different about him. He's never the same boy. It's kind of like how on a phone you can choose a person to text or a website to go to whenever you want and you can just go there. Well, that's what I can do now. Go wherever I want. Hey, not cool. You know, it's not just the kids. These adults out there are just as guilty of distracted driving. <laughs> Okay, so I've sustained a few injuries along Have a the nice way. Day. A couple of broken ribs, sprained wrist, bruised hip. It's a battlefield out there. I'm trying to drive, man, and watch. Dang. That's the price you pay for justice. But even after all of that, I still have to say, the parents are the worst. Especially those Hollywood exec types. 
I told you we should have taken Fairfax. This is faster, I'm telling you. Watch out! You almost hit that beamer. Let me drive. Hey, not cool. Oh, crap. Now you've done it. Crash! What are you two doing? You've got your kid back here. You should be focusing on the road, not yelling at each other. Hey, that's important business. Not as important as keeping your family safe. Thanks, Crash. Sure thing, kid. While I have you here, I've got this treatment. If you don't mind giving it a quick read. Texting and driving is a serious problem. We know that. It's just too bad people can't figure it out on their own without Crash having to come and save the day every time. You know, he used to have a girlfriend. A Crash? <laughs> Is that what he calls himself now? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure he's very good at his job. We used to spend a lot of time together. <clears throat> Back then, there were only kids everywhere texting and driving. I feel sorry for him. I really do. What kind of a life is this for him? Come on, people, will you quit texting and driving already? He can't keep this up forever, you know. You're killing him. You're killing my boy. He could have been a doctor, you know? There have been several reports of cell phone chargers that have gone missing throughout the city. Police cannot figure out why this has happened. Well, here's what we know so far. Some nut job in a mask and cape is breaking into people's cars, stealing their cell phones right out of their hands. Well, not their cell phones per se, but the car chargers to their phones. I mean, who would do that? A sick man, that's who. A very sick and twisted individual. Uh, Detective, do you have any leads? You know, the crazy thing is, this guy is running around town like the freaking NSA, tracking all of us. But he's untraceable. I mean, no Facebook, no Twitter, no Instagram, no email, no phone number. I mean, how do you track someone without a phone? It's not right. It's just not right. In other news, experts now say that automobile injuries caused by texting and driving are starting to finally show signs of decrease. Organizations like Text Kills have been credited for spreading awareness about this serious issue affecting us all. But we still have a long way to go, people. You don't text and drive, do you? Hey, keep it that way. You too. Life is strange. You never know where you might end up. I used to be a normal guy, whole life ahead of me. It's funny how one little mistake can change everything. I guess the point is to appreciate the things you got right now, right in front of you, and cherish them. We gotta stop taking it all for granted because nothing is guaranteed. I hope so bad that one day I can have my life back. But until that day comes, my purpose has been made clear. I'm a watcher, a protector, a guardian. I save lives. My name is Crash. Have a nice day. <laughs>